Hi guys, and welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. Today's video is all about your pivot. So what I wanna to discuss today with a pivot is I see a lot of golfers try and do the wrong thing, but kind of do it the wrong way. And if your pivot is very good, obviously and very natural, then don't worry too much about the technical stuff I'm gonna go through today. So what I wanna to talk today with really is how your back moves in the golf swing to create the correct pivot. So at the moment, what we have in, in, in golf terms is we have what we call a forward bend, which would be this way. And again, if you look at this camera here, it's basically just forward bending, forward flexing. We have side bending and we have back extension. Now, what I see with a lot of golfers when they make a backswing is what they try and do is they try and stay what I call forward bending to the extreme and then the head moves to the right and they move off the ball too much. So I get this kind of look with a lot of golfers where they don't maybe rotate enough and they forward bend too much and their head goes to the right too much and from there it's a long way back to make contact with the ball. So what I want to really focus on in this video is how we can extend your back correctly and side bend correctly to get to the correct top of the backswing position. So what I'd want to see basically is as we turn, we would extend your back and allow your back to side bend so we can stay centered on the ball and maintain a really good rotation. So just to be clear, side bending, back extension just for this camera here. So if I take this club and put it across my chest here, I'd want this golf club, and if I do it onto my golf position here, I'd want this golf club to point just above that golf ball. So I'm kind of pivoting in a position where I'm sort of centered, but I'm able to extend my back and side bend so I maintain this position as best I can. Now I'm the most not the most flexible golfer in the world, so for me I have to move my hips a little bit more, and I still might struggle a little bit for full range. But that kind of position is what I'm looking for. Far too often I see this look and this look in the backswing with golfers. So it's kind of trying to maintain the position we want. And this is kind of a nice drill to do. Palms up on the club, elbows in front of your ribcage like this. Make a backswing, side bend and extend so we get the club still relatively in the same position away from our body here. We can just see this club pivoting around our body. So again, if I forward bend, you see the the inclination of this changes and then obviously if I kind of don't rotate you'll see I want to move very far so we're trying to rotate and side bend into this position here like that. So how it look from this camera is the head will be kind of quite centered in the ideal world and you get quite a nice flat looking shape to your back. So how this helps you basically well it gives you the quality of rotation the quality of rotation means you're going to develop the most amount of speed and power in the downswing. Also, if you're kind of forward bending off here, it's quite easy to stay back. If you're forward bending and, and rotating, it's very easy to get ahead of it on the way down. So we tend to get a lot of over the top as doing that. But it's really key for consistency. So quality and rotation is key for consistency. Let me try a ball here. I'm gonna try and get that shape as best I can. Again, bear in mind, I'm not the most flexible guy in the world. Okay, so really, really tried hard then to kind of side bend and tilt a little bit more that way, which is why it was different for me. Um, I can definitely feel it in my back and my movement is different, which is good. And what I'd say to a lot of people when I teach them is if you can make your practice feel a little bit different, it means you are doing something different. Now, if your golf swing's perfect, we don't want to feel different. But if your golf swing needs some change and enhancement, then it's good to feel that change and difference every time you practice. So have a go at this drill. I'd have a go at the kind of palms up drill. And I'd have a go at that turning exercise in the mirror. Get the quality movement in your back as best you can. Try and make it feel more natural on the course and with the swings. And see how that translates itself into the golf course for you into your normal performance. 